you're kinda a bitch, dude. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry.
Suffering, and it's not me.
I woke up at about 4 a.m. I'm surprised I stayed asleep for that long. I dressed myself and sat in our dark kitchen, alone. After sitting there for a few minutes, I decided I'd give sleep one more try. It wasn't a success. I slept like a vampire, on my back with my arms folded across my chest. I remembered the breathing exercises Ariel told me about. Eventually I dozed off, but when I did, I felt more like I went to another dimension rather than falling asleep. It was a barrage of horrible nightmares, followed by sleep paralysis. At one point I woke up in my room, realized I was still asleep, then woke up, got out of bed, and realized I was still asleep again. There was one nightmare where my mom and dad found an assassin bug infestation on my wall. We were in a house I didn't recognize, but I knew the house was mine. Some of the bugs were red, and some were yellow. One of them crawled out of the wall and chased me. I think this was the first time I've ever been able to actually run in a dream. I sprinted downstairs for some bug spray. My dad told me not to panic, but I could tell he was panicking himself. I ran back up the stairs and we attacked the hole in the wall with the spray. One of the bugs landed on my arm and I frantically swatted it away, spraying myself with the bug spray in the process. I've been scared lately that I might actually be losing it. Sometimes I really do feel like I'm going insane. I probably don't talk about it enough to anyone. I wonder how many people feel the same way and don't speak up. Now I'm back in the kitchen and there's more light pouring through the windows. Not much though, it's raining today. You're awake too, wrapped up in a blanket. You asked me earlier if I wanted to go back to bed and lay down, but I said I was all right. You asked me if I'd like for you to make me a bento box. I told you that would be nice. As I write this, I'm wondering what it is exactly that you see in me. I don't know if I'll ever truly know. I'm happy that you love me though. And I know for sure that you do. Of all the people and things and experiences in my life, I'm sure I'll never love any of them the way that I love you. I love you very much. Being at home with you will always be my favorite place. It's 8.43 a.m. now and I'm drinking a beer about to go into work. I'll probably be distracted, but I'll manage, like I always do. Maybe tonight I'll take a melatonin. <laughs>